Rebecca. Welcome to Crafting Journey. If you are new to the show, don't forget to consider subscribing. Ring the bell when you want to have, know if I have another video posted, uh, which I do post daily. The morning show is Monday through Friday. I usually get it posted by 10.30 a.m. ish. Ish. And hit the like button if you like what you're going to see. And I've got, I put on my loom. I did this last year. This is last year's loom knitting hat. Yesterday was crochet, loom knit. You know what? I, I like the loom knit hat, but this is the one, see, this is before I learned how to do a brim. <laughs> I now know how to do a brim, like as you're loom knitting. And I could loom knit and show you guys. How about Wednesday we loom knit a hat? <gasps> yes, and I'll show you how I do the brim. Yeah, so what did I do yesterday? Oh, good morning. Did I say that? Good morning. I got my coffee. Look, it doesn't say anything, but it's just a pretty cup. I think I got this from Hobby Lobby. Oh, let's just relax. I had a full night's sleep. Full night's sleep. It doesn't happen very often, but yay. I finished the third one, two, three, third section and I have very large sections on my Halloween painting on all my paintings I, I divided into huge sections so I finished the third section so be, since I was done with that section rather than starting another section um, I decided to get out the wave painting let me show you the wave painting one more sip of coffee please oh I need my coffee Okay, this is, um, this painting came from Diamond Dots at Home, which is different than the Diamond Dots that they sell in the store. Same company, but Diamond Dots at Home is available online and the concept is, you know, for you to throw parties and invite your friends and get everybody addicted to diamond painting. Why not? Anyway, so I got this online. Look how pretty. This is called, hold on, <laughs> A Big Wave off of Kanawaga. It's, uh, this is the artist, Hokusai. It's a 60 by 41. Now this is, this is a partial. The part that I am gonna diamond paint is of course the wave. I'm almost done with the wave, but then this background here, the mountains and this, statue that's in the background in Hawaii. But this up here is not diamond painted. So it's almost the full, but you know, this area is not diamond painted, which is, I'm grateful <laughs> because it's a lot, you know, it's still gorgeous. So this is going to be a Christmas present for my grandson, Kyle. And Kyle doesn't watch this channel. And if he does, turn it off. You go do your homework. Or whatever you don't need to be watching crafting shows uh, yeah. so I actually keep my diamonds for this painting since there are only one two three like 14 colors in this painting I keep it in this and it's like a little spin thing I will I, I said this last time I promise down in the description I will uh, put where I got this from I got it off of Amazon. Uh, I don't even remember the name of it. I'll find it. But it's really cute. You just take out your diamonds and you open it up and there you go. You can paint from here or you can put them in a tray. I put them in a tray because I'm multi-place. But uh, if you have to like just get one or two, very convenient. So it's, this is a nice little option if you're um, if you have less than 24 colors. So. And it spins. Look. Oh, you can't see. Look. It spins. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Yeah. So just another option for storage. <sighs> okay. Oh, what else has she been up to? Listen, a huge thanks to Mickey Sunshine Creates. She's another creator on YouTube. Check out her channel. She spent, oh, I don't know, like the better part of two hours with me yesterday while I was at work because I was all alone. I was working, but she was, and she was paint, diamond painting, but 
it was like we were in the same room together. We were just chit-chatting and, you know, I was answering phones and she, poor thing, she had to listen to my phone calls. No privileged information. I work in the medical staff office. It's simply solving physicians' problems. Nothing to do with anything clinical, not giving in any way privacy, no. Um, her listening, literally yesterday we were having an issue with um, people getting access to the clinical information. So the problem yesterday was access. It wasn't anything, you know, I would never have someone listen in to clinical information. That, that would be inappropriate. So. such a good friend. So here's the other thing I was working on yesterday. A dish towel. Yes. <laughs> I have this crochet hook. I think I got it at Hobby Lobby and it, it lights up. Look at that. It lights up. Ah. Why? I don't know. I guess if you're going to diamond or if you're going to uh, crochet in the dark. So this is going to be a dish towel. It's a shell stitch. And I think I'm, I, I, well, <laughs> I ran out of yarn, got to put the next skein in. But what happens is at, at some point it's going to, you know, it's going to gather here at the top. And then I'm going to switch to like a single crochet loop over. And then I'm going to have like a little button there. How cute is that? Yeah. And thank you, Narita, for the yarn. This is 100% cotton yarn. This is the yarn here. Yes, I'm wearing my gnome pajamas. You saw my pajamas. Yes, sorry. I don't put on my work pants until I'm ready to walk out the door or else dog hair, you know? Dog hair all over. So it's Karen Cotton Cakes. Um, that's what I'm using for this dish towel. And it is... 60% cotton, 40% acrylic, but it's washable, which is um, the important part when you're doing a dish towel, washable. So I do need to get that out, put that in the project bag because we have to finish it. Okay, where's the little hook? <laughs> My glow in the dark hook. Yes, I seem to go through a lot of, um, no, I don't go through them, but I'm using a lot of um, like 5.5, 6, and 6.5 hooks. Yeah. Um, but that's okay. I like that size. So, what? Oh, so have I gone over like everything in front of me except for the Halloween candy? <laughs> Aren't you proud of me? I haven't been eating it. No. Because once I start, I'll eat the whole jar. So, best not to go there. All right, let's pick a color. Now, I didn't section this painting off. I'm just following the wave. <laughs> and I think I want to do this darker color that's here, which is number 10. This color right here. Let me grab a tray. This came from Archer's Art. Archer's Art. Yes, there's a link down in my description to their website where you can order an Archer's Art tray. It's a mini tray. I like their mini trays. They used to have a color of the month. I don't know if they're doing that anymore. I heard that that was going to come back. I loved the color of the month. Um, but I don't know. It's best that I don't know because I'll order it. Yeah, <laughs> so so I still haven't heard back from the landlord. I don't know anything about whether I'm going to be able to move into this house or not, I, or, or even see it. I want to see the inside before I make a decision. If I have to choose a different house, then, you know, hopefully she's got some more properties, and I'm sure she does, um, because that's their, that's their business is rentals. Um, especially like in my price range would be wonderful. Um, Jake, buddy, what's up? Good morning. My co-host Jake is over there scratching. Hi bud. Hi bud. Want to come here? Oh, he's like, oh, I'm going to pay attention now. Thank 
goodness. Co-hosts should pay attention. Oh, I slept on my neck wrong. Ow. Can somebody send over me a masseuse? <laughs> I, it, I don't care if it's a man, woman, you know, Bigfoot, whatever. Just, I need like a, a massage, full body massage. I don't, you know, just have them wear a mask, knock on the door. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't that be lovely? Uh, yeah. Uh, but I would fall asleep and probably would you know, not enjoy it, you know. Well, I would enjoy it, but to the point where I fall asleep. This is going to be very distracting, the noise of this paper. Let's just get it out of the way. Today, oh my God, it's so fitting. But, um, it's National Mad Hatter Day. Oh, I wish I had the Mad Hatter hat because I just love the Mad Hatter. Um, yeah. <laughs> just a, a, a very cool character from Alice in Wonderland. Yes, another Alice in Wonderland, right, Rebecca? So today is National Mad Hatter Day. So. I don't know if you guys know how it came about that back in the day, I know I should tell, all right, let's, let's find out what day that was. Back in the day, well, first of all, it, how cool that they have a day to celebrate the Mad Hatter. <laughs> um, okay, it's set aside each year to bring out your silly side. So, okay, we'll be, we'll be silly, silly today. Um, <laughs> so, uh, Sir John Tenniel, T-E-N-N-I-E-L, illustrated the Mad Hatter and all of the Lewis Carroll colorful characters beginning in 1864. So, the phrase Mad Hatter came about in the 18th century and the early 19th century when these um, men would be, they made hats, but they used mercury to make the hats. Oh, they were called haberdasheries. I'm sorry. What? Haberdash? You know, I bet you in Europe, they still have haberdasheries because your hats are a huge thing in Europe. Everybody wears a hat to, you know, to church and to every event. There's, there's always a hat involved. So back in the day, they used mercury to make these hats. So now we know what mercury does to you. It makes you crazy. So they call these people mad hatters because they were acting crazy. They were acting funny. People thought they were mad. They never, nobody ever stopped to think, hey, it might be that mercury you're using. Um, but you know, who knew? So <laughs> that's how the term Mad Hatter came about. Isn't that funny? So yesterday I asked you guys, which hat should I make? The Mad Hatter or the Harry Potter sorting hat? Well, we didn't really get a consensus. So here's, here's my plan. Some people said Mad Hatter, some people said Sorting Hat, some people said both. Now you know me, I'm gonna go with both because that's who I am. Just overthink everything, right? Um, so, uh, but uh, Narita had a great idea. You know, since I'm going to the retreat and Mystery of Diamonds is bringing the free Harry Potter sorting hat pattern. I'm gonna do the Harry Potter sorting hat or work on it while I'm there so she can help me if I run into any issues. And then when I come back, I'll do the Mad Hatter. Sound good? I don't know, that's so many days away. Plus I have to decide what colors do I wanna use for each hat. So the Harry Potter sorting hat, what color? Those are the questions to leave in the comments today because I need help. What color should I make the sorting hat? And what color should I make the Mad Hatter? Now I'm thinking the Mad Hatter, like I'm thinking like purple, like a dark purple. Like 
maybe you're gonna see my jammies again. I don't know, I was thinking like this, but I would need two skeins of this, and I might have two skeins, I'm not sure. Um, this is a medium four, um, because when you're making a Mad Hatter hat, you gotta use two strands, because you, you want a real stiff um, hat. So, I'm, I'm thinking dark purple, but what are your ideas? on colors for the hat and think you know it doesn't have to be traditional dark you know what color i don't know about pink guys i've thought about it thought about it a pink mad hatter hat mm, that could be pretty cool i don't know what are your thoughts so and i love that you guys interact with me in the comments i just love it i read every comment i reply um it, it just kind of makes my day that you guys are watching, that you guys are enjoying the show. I I just love it. Love it. You know, I feel like I have like a whole bunch of friends out there in this weird time where we're running around in gnome pajamas and <laughs> purple hats in our house because <laughs> we can't go anywhere. Oh, God. I had to go back to the office today. Same thing. Answer phones today. The, what happened was that um, we have to volunteer for one day of the week. So this, the girl that's pregnant at work, we split Monday and Tuesday. So she's working half a day each morning, and then I come in and do the afternoon. Because I think she's pretty tired. She's in her maybe fifth month. Yeah, fifth month. I think she, yeah. I don't do math well. You know, she's doing January. Whatever that comes out to be. But yeah, she's tired. I don't... I remember my pregnancies. I was tired. Well, because I gave birth to my daughter in the middle of summer. She was a July baby. Oh my God. And in Florida, it was so freaking hot. I thought I was going to die. The, the week after I had her, literally, I think I lost 20 pounds in fluid, water weight, just from the heat. Yeah. Anyway, well, I don't know how I got on that subject. Oh, Mad Hatter Day. Yeah, we're going to act silly. But I act silly every day. I do. <sighs> okay, back to diamond painting. This is a pretty color. It really is. It's the same color as the AB that I was putting down last week, but this color, AB. But, you know, without the AB, <laughs> without the iridescent coating. So it's just sort of a combination of the two colors. This painting is so beautiful. Diamond Dots has a very, very nice selections of diamond paintings. And for all different levels of diamond painters, that's what I enjoy about that company. And they'll actually put it on the box, beginner, intermediate, advanced. So pay attention to that. That's my first diamond painting was Diamond Dots. I did the little rose. It's over there. I'm not gonna take it off the wall, but um, I just wanna see if I like the, the craft. And of course, fast forward a year and a half, here we are. Yes, me being silly on YouTube. <laughs> I love YouTube. It's so much fun. And I've met people from all over the world. Rivka, my friend Rivka in Australia, was parasailing yesterday or the day before. Oh my God, how much fun is she having on her vacation? Holy moly. Okay, what other national day is it? Don't forget, go out, be silly, and just say, hey guys, it's Mad Hatter Day. People will look at you like you're crazy. Mad Hatter. <laughs> it's um, also national fruit at work day. And since I work from home, that's not an issue. I usually have fruit in the kitchen. Um, I have, oh, this hot, this hat is super hot. Whew, I gotta take it off, guys. It's hot, oh my God. Whew, man, I burn up. I don't, I don't remember what material I use, but holy moly, ooh, it's soft and warm. Okay, I will be needing this. Um, not this week. It's supposed to go back into the 90s. I live in Wichita, Kansas. It's October. 
No, we're not supposed to see 90 degree weather. But yes, this week we'll go back into the 90s. They said it's going to be like record breaking. So last night, <clears throat> so frustrating. I turn. I knew Big Brother was going to be on Monday night, so I turn on the TV. You know, at the usual time for Big Brother. Football. Football was on. It's just so funny that they're playing this football game and there's announcers and coaches and nobody in the stands, but you hear all the crowd noise. Like, it's fake crowd noise. And it's hilarious. But I, it's just unwatchable. It's just... I'm sorry, I cannot do football. Cannot do football. Sorry. So then I, I'm like, what? Football? What? The dogs felt my angst because I was pissed. So then I go, because I was all curled up in bed with my CBS app on the TV. I'm ready to watch Big Brother. Then I'm on. So I go out to the other TV where I have a TV guide, turn on the TV guide. 10 o'clock Eastern time, 9 o'clock my time. But I'm like, what? Oh, that means after uh, the fourth quarter ends, which you never know how long a daggum fourth quarter is going to last um, uh, in football. So, uh, so I came in and I diamond painted and I crocheted and I dilly dallied around for two more hours. The dogs were like, wait a minute, we're comfortable in bed. What are you doing? What, what What's going on here? Yeah. <laughs> so I had to bribe them with cookies to, you know, anyway, they'll get out of bed for a cookie. So I diamond painted, crocheted, and waited for the show to start. So I turn on the show at the prescribed time, I don't know if that's the right word, the allotted time for Big Brother. And as I predicted, we're in the fourth quarter. Two minute warning, thank God, uh, it was like a blowout game. And it was, <laughs> but coincidentally, the Kansas City Chiefs were playing, and I live in Kansas, and I, I don't give two hoots about any team. I guess if I did, it, it would be that team. Um, so they were, it was a blowout. They were winning. So I mean, there, so there was no need to prolong the fourth quarter. Thank God, because they weren't going to score. Um, so it was over pretty quickly, and I got to watch Big Brother. So no, not going to give away any any um, you know anything except to say that. You don't have to turn it off. I'm not giving away anything. Um, just, you know, it was the usual, um, you know, we had a, had a household competition. Here's who won. You know, let's run around and figure out who we're going to nominate. And um, and then, of course, at the end, the nominations. So, blah, blah, blah. But a good, good episode, nonetheless. What they did was they went back and gave you some... Uh, some more of what you didn't see during the triple eviction show. Conversations that were taking place that you didn't get to see when the show aired, which I thought was sort of enlightening. So that was that was fun to watch. Am I doing the right symbol? Uh oh, oh, okay, I am. Oh my goodness, my my mind was drifting. Does that happen to you? Like. All of a sudden, you, you're just laying down drills and you forget what symbol you're doing and you're hoping that you did the right symbol. Um, yay, luckily, yay. So what are you supposed to do on National Fruit Day? I guess eat fruit. It's supposed to, you're supposed to gain an appreciation of fruit. It gives you energy, it helps you think. Um, but surprisingly, I did not know that eggplant is a fruit and avocados are fruits. Don't like either one of them. So doesn't matter two hoots to me. But <laughs> if you happen to like avocados or eggplant, bring on the Parmesan and enjoy your fruit. Yes. Not a, not a fan. Mm -mm. It's green. Avocado, it's green. Eh, 
I can't, oh no. Sticky green, ooh, no. Mm -mm. Again, body language, facial expressions. Can you tell? <laughs> God, this coffee's good. Uh, yeah. So, I suppose we should talk about this day in history. As soon as I find a place for these drills, four place and four placing, and everything's three. Okay. I'm gonna have to switch to three. Let's find this day in history. President Kennedy urged people because of the Cuban Missile Crisis. Russia had put, um, I guess they thought Russia had put atomic bombs in Cuba. I, I don't know the whole story. But anyway, so Kennedy comes on and urges people to go build bomb shelters. What? Can you imagine? Um, and they did. I'm, I've never seen one. Have you guys ever seen a bomb shelter? Do you have a bomb shelter? I mean, I live in Kansas. I don't... Um, no. I've never seen a bomb shelter. I mean, we have finished basements here, but um, no bomb shelters. Unless, you know, they just kind of, people just got rid of them? I don't know. So, who knows? Let's find this day in history, shall we? This day. Oh, yeah. We'll come back to that. We'll come back to that subject. Hold on. Let's find this day in history. This day in history. October 6th. Oh, this is in 19, oh, 19, 1866, the Reno brothers robbed the first train. Now, train robbery was not new, but what was new about it, um, you know, typically up to this point, trains would be robbed, you know, while they were sitting in the train yard. But the Reno brothers decided they would go out into the open, like, because these trains had these long journeys across country and through open areas. Um, so these brothers, and then consequently a lot of other people, because it was very lucrative for a long time, would go out to these open areas and stop the train. Now, you couldn't stop a train now because they'd go too fast, but back then they weren't going quite that fast. So they would stop the train and they would rob it. So the Reno brothers actually on their first robbery on October 6th got $13,000. That was back in 1866. That's a lot of money. I don't know what that would be today, but that's a lot of money. And they kept doing it. But so eventually the train companies, they got wise to this. They're like, whoa, wait a minute, you know. So the, <laughs> the train companies started putting like they would have a whole car just for armed guards and horses so that at any at a moment's notice, the armed guards could just release the horses, jump on them, and chase after the robbers. It sounds like a movie, doesn't it? <laughs> Can you imagine? Um, and then they started putting, you know, everything in these heavy metal safes. Um, so... It kind of died out um, after a while. And then trains, of course, started going faster. <laughs> um, yeah, if you tried to stop a train today, you know, it takes a long time to stop a train. Like, if a conductor, I don't do they still call them conductors? If a conductor sees someone on the track, by the time the conductor sees you on the tracks, he cannot stop that train before he's going to hit you. Because um, it just takes a while to stop a train. <sighs> yeah. So, train robbers, president. It really was not a terribly exciting day in history, guys. And I have rambled on for 30 minutes already. Oh my God, guys. I love this show. I just like talking to you. All right. So, Tuesday nights. Let's talk about Tuesday nights. Um... I don't know who goes live on Tuesday night. And I saw that Jeremy went live last night. I apologies, Jeremy. I didn't realize. I should have thought about it hunting Monday nights. Okay, I'm sorry I missed your show. Sorry I didn't promote it. So go back and watch the replay. Hashtag replay for Jeremy. 
Jeremy JTMJ Crafts. Um, that's where you'll find the replay. Tonight, I, I, oh, Crashly does her tutorials on Tuesday night. Check that out. Um, sometimes she does them as premieres. Sometimes she does them live. You never know because it's Crashly. Crafts with Crashly. Check her out. I think it's 6 p.m. Central-ish. Check out her channel. Find out what, what exactly the time is. Guys, I have talked your ear off today. I apologize. It's because I am so well rested and a little crazy because it's Mad Hatter Day. Um, go out and have a great Tuesday. I will see you in tomorrow's video. If, I, if I'm in a live tonight, say hello to me. So take care, everybody. Bye. Be kind to one another.